Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bullpen. In the bullpen today, we have Mr. Samuel Mengel Lynette, commentator Young Voices, and also is a staff editor at The Federalist. We will not hold that against him here. Samuel, good day, welcome. Thanks, happy to be All here. All right, happy to have you. Uh, we're going to chop it up about the current uh, committee hearings, January 6th, Jim Jordan. I don't know what you uh, feel about these particular hearings and the commentary that's coming from members of our government. Um, but I would like your opinion and then I will opine. Yeah, so personally, I think the greatest good that's coming out of these hearings right now, and you can really tie this in with the recent Durham report release, is that we're really seeing how deeply entrenched the managerial elite is within the federal government and how we're seeing it's weaponized against, I mean, right now we're seeing how it's weaponized against specifically uh, Republicans and conservative Americans, but how it has the utility to be weaponized against all Americans, how deeply pernicious this threat is to the American experiment. And I think that's what it ought to be the greatest takeaway and how politicized the FBI is at this current moment. You know, you, you said two things that strike me. You said how politicized they are at this current moment. Uh, and you also said has the potential, right? To basically be adversarial to other groups, other people. Mm -hmm. Am I correct on that assessment? I mean, yeah, it is. it blatantly is adversarial at this current moment. And I think it has been throughout its history as well. Well, that's the thing. When you say potentially can be utilized in adverse ways against other communities, I, I want you to remember, we've been telling you all this about the police in all permeations, federal and local, for a very long time. As a matter of fact, in the 60s, it was the FBI who investigated wrongfully, illegally, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Put him under surveillance, accused him of being a communist terrorist, and saying that he was basically number one threat, threat number one to the United States of America. So we've been saying this, and this is the disconnect, dear brother, between the narratives. We have literally been telling you all, Get on our side with this so that we can make law enforcement better for everybody. That's what we've been saying. You all did not agree based on statistical data, commentary, studies that were done. For the most part, those on the right believed the police could do no wrong. And those on the left always had a healthy, a very healthy objective view of police and policing tactics. So now the chicken has come home to roost and the FBI has all of a sudden become adversarial to conservative movements. I will say this for the record, evidence has also been presented that there are many members of the FBI who are 100% pro-conservative and there are those who are not. They have both expressed their political beliefs in the context of their profession, which should not be, especially when it comes to an exacting policy or a decision that's being made. So I agree with you on that point. But at the end of this hearing, the idea is to understand what really transpired what really happened, you're not suggesting at all that the violence did not occur, that individuals were not animated to commit violence against the United States government. Is That's not what you're presenting here, correct? I don't think that's really the major issue at play in this current instance. And I would just like to push back against what you said. Why do you say that? Said. I'm sorry? Why do you say you don't think that's, that's important here? It's called, it's a January 6th committee. Well, it's, the, it's the House Subcommittee on the Weaponization of the Federal Government. Yeah, the January 6th committee about, has been dissolved. Well, the January 6th committee was invested investigatory, so you're correct on that point. This committee that's being ran by Jim Jordan contextualizes all of the information through what happened leading up to and on the day of and after January 6th. So you can't talk, you can't say this is not important. It's actually the key focus of the entire question and answer phase. Well, I didn't say it wasn't important. I said it's not the key issue I play right now. What How? we need to focus on right now is the is the uh, the weaponization of the federal government, and we can see that I was a big factor at play in January sixth. But I want to push explain back against that. what you said a okay, little bit go, ago. Go, go ahead and push back and then explain that comment when you said it was uh, th this was an issue uh, beyond that. So go ahead, go ahead and push okay. back, and then we'll get. Uh, to what you said about the the um, how the the um, the chickens come home to roost. Yeah. Aside from, sure, they're, they're, whether or not we want to have a debate on about you know uh, historical 
wrongdoings about law enforcement or not. That's a whole separate conversation at play. Why? Wow. The matter. How is, is that? Wait a minute, brother. How is that a whole separate conversation? You're talking about the weaponization of police forces against communities that should not deserve it. So how is that different when those that weaponization was against black civil rights leaders in this country? How is that? So different? I'm gonna I'm gonna finish my point. Um, yeah, I understand that, and I'm gonna make mine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so. At the issue at play is instead of moving forward in a you know bipartisan manner or in a way that is united as the United States, it is blatantly being weaponized in a political manner. And sure, we can have the conversation about how historically law enforcement was used in biased ways. That is a separate conversation. But in this current moment, it is being leveraged gleefully with political bias. And that needs to be addressed if we are going to have a republic. If it is, if, if one side is going to brandish raw political, raw bureaucratic and deeply entrenched bureaucratic power that is unaccountable to the electorate, you cannot have a republic, let alone a civilization. It's just not attainable. You can't do it. It's not sustainable in any form. Do you believe the FBI was weaponized against black people for decades in this country? I, I do believe the FBI has been weaponized in unfair ways against all Americans. I, I do not trust the intelligence apparatus in any capacity whatsoever. I think that's the case. I think most Americans increasingly believe that. 94% of Americans agree that police reform on some level is necessary. It's actually one of the very few items that Republicans, Democrats, independents, even libertarians agree on with the majority consensus. The reason why there's this disconnect is because we've been shouting for a very long time. We have to check these elements within the policy and protocol of policing, which includes federal policing as well, i.e. the FBI. But let's go back to a dynamic of January 6. The reason why this whole thing is even being discussed is because of January 6. That is basically a catalyst. Now you have some different permeations of this, but you do. I want you to clearly tell us, you do know that the individuals who committed that attack on the Capitol, that they were in fact being lawless and not patriots. Can we at least establish that? I mean, I'll disavow, I don't agree with riots in any capacity whatsoever, but I would disavow the, you know, the Fed's direction. At the same time, people are willing to fully disavow the, the summer of love, the violence that occurred throughout the country in 2020. It's, it's unfair to brandish January 6 against red America when 2020 happened and there are, there's very little accountability whatsoever in that instance. Yeah, so so I, unfortunately I have, there's another show coming right after mine. So I, I don't have ample time. So let me just pose it again. Do you clearly say January 6th was in fact an attack against the nation, end quote. Can you do that? I don't agree with, I don't, re I reject this premise and I don't agree with putting people in situations like this. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to be on the show. And you don't, you don't agree. You, you a track star? You run it? I'm sorry, I didn't hear the. Didn't are, hear the are you a track star? Do you run track, sir? Are you running? Because you no, don't want to ask. You said you're running out of time. Yeah, but I still posed the question. And I, I said I reject the premise. I think this is arguing in bad faith. An argument in bad faith because I asked you about a terrorist attack. It wasn't uh, that was not a terrorist attack. What's the if, definition if, you, of terrorist? if you can disavow the what? summer of love, the BLM riots in 2020. Yeah, anybody, anybody who forward. riots, yeah, anybody who, who does riot, sir, riotous behavior will never create sustainable mm -hmm. outcomes. So see, I don't run. Right. Now, and like I to said, the question prior that to I this, posed to I don't you, agree with do the you, riot that occurred. Do you believe okay, so you do believe it was a riot at the Capitol, correct? I mean that that's the official narrative. That's what a lot of people. What about say. what do you believe, sir? This is simple. You got answers for everything else, but that. I I've given you this answer multiple times. Was it a terrorist attack? Was it a riot? What say you clearly? Before I it, let you go, that, that was not a terrorist attack. I think anyone in good faith would say it was not a terrorist attack. What was it? You can call it a riot. I think that's pretty reasonable. What do you? What do you okay, that's reasonable. All right. What's the definition of terrorism? I mean, it, I don't have a di dictionary in front of me. But I think it's fair to say that terrorism is uh, violence to elicit political means. That's correct. On January 6th, that was violence to elicit a political goal. And what about the summer of 2020? What about that? Sir, January 6th was a terrorist attack, correct? 
based on your definition? Again, argument in bad faith, got to reject the premise. Appreciate you having me on. You sound like a damn robot. I appreciate you being on the show, sir. All right, thank you.